In this video, we want to start putting together the layout of our drawing GUI. So we previously did a little design, and we decided that we want it to look like this. Uh, we have a menu bar at the top, and then we have tabs for the drawing. And then for each drawing that we select, it has a layout that has this thing called a tree view, uh, properties area, a slider for doing animations, the canvas where the actual drawing goes, and then a text field and a text area. And at least we want two of these things to be user adjustable. Okay, so um, where to begin? Well, first let's get rid of the code that we had before. Okay, we're going to start by putting in the menu bar at the top. It's a fairly easy thing to start with, and it will allow us to kind of see how a lot of things work in here. So we're going to make a menu bar, and we do that by saying new menu bar. Now, we will be hitting, I will be hitting Control Shift O a lot to import things. There is one import that Eclipse is not going to add for us that turns out I don't need it quite yet, but it winds up being useful in pretty much every GUI that you write using Scala FX. And so you should just get into the habit of putting it kind of at the top of your imports when you're writing a graphical application. And that is the import of scalafx.includes.underscore. This really helps it to kind of interoperate with Java FX. Okay. So we have our menu bar. A menu bar is composed of menus. I'm going to put two menus on this, a file menu, which will be a new menu that has the text file on it. And once again, control shift O, import the Scala FX. The other menu that I want to have is kind of an edit menu that allows me to do editing stuff to the drawing. So a new menu that we will call edit. I want to add both of these to the menu bar. Menu bar dot, it has a thing in it called menus that I can set equal to a list of the file menu and the edit menu. Okay. Now I need to add items to each of these, and I'm going to go ahead and put those in, in here, so after each menu I'll list the items that I'm going to put there. Things I want in the file menu. I would like to be able to make a new drawing. Okay, so we'll make a new, and this will be a menu item, menu item, and this will just have the text new on it. And then we'll also create a new how about an open item so that we can open files? We're assuming that we have the ability to save things off and then open back up. And of course, if we have an open, we will also need the save item. So that'll be a menu item that says save. And it's uh, might be nice to have a, a close. Nah, I'll go ahead and just skip to an exit. Uh, we can always close tabs generally by uh, clicking on them. Maybe we'll add a close later if we decide that it's necessary. So a new menu item of this exit. Now I need to add all these menu items into the file menu. So if we, we can say file menu dot, and it has items in it, and we can set that to a list of the things that we want. So I want my new item and my open item, and my save item. And then actually before exit, I want to put in a separator. So there is a thing called a separator, separator menu item, which really is just like a line that goes in there. And then we'll put in our exit item. And the reason for this is it winds up being useful so student or so people who are using this program don't accidentally hit exit when they meant to hit save. Giving that little bit of separation makes it less likely that they will mess things up. Okay, what about in our edit? Well, things that typically go inside of edit are like cut and paste, cut and copy and paste. I'm also going to put the ability to add a new drawable into our drawing. So this will be a new menu item of add drawable. And in fact, let's just copy, 
paste oh, one more time. So I want an add, I want a copy, a cut, a paste. And these will just cut, paste, and we need to add those into the uh, edit menu. Edit, no, not Val. Edit menu dot items equals a list of add item. Copy item, cut item, paste item. Okay, it compiles. It turns out that if we run this, it actually doesn't do anything different than what it had done before. Um, there's there's no menu bar. And the reason is, remember in our previous application, we had to set the contents. We're actually not going to set the contents here. We are going to set instead something called the root. So if you set contents, you have to position everything. And, and I don't want to do that because I want users to be able to resize the window and have things change in a meaningful way. I don't want to give like exact locations to all of the elements in this GUI. That's not very flexible. So instead, I want to use these things called panes to organize things. And so we're going to assume we have something called a root pane. And I will create one of those. And the root pane is going to be of a type called border pane. We'll import border pane. Now border panes have a number of fields inside of them, including top, bottom, left, right, and center. And so those kind of specify the different regions. And so I am going to set the top to be the menu bar. And one of the advantages of using the root here, if I had just put the menu bar into the content, it actually wouldn't span the entire width of of my window. But by putting it here, you can see it covers the entire width. If I make the window larger or smaller, it grows and shrinks. And that's the advantage of using root here. And you can see that we have these options. So we have some menus. This is all helpful. Unfortunately, none of them do anything. We'll come back to that later for how we can make things interactive. The last thing I want to add in this particular video is the tabbing. Now we're not going to have, we're going to come back for a later video to lay out all the rest of this. We've added the menu bar and I want to have something that can basically display tabs and it turns out the something that we can use for that in Scala FX is called a tab pane. So I'm going to make my variable tab pane and it's a new tab pane. We'll have to import that. Now I could, uh, what we're going to have to do when we come back is we're going to add a tab into here that is part of a drawing. For now, all I want to do is I want to take the root pane and set its center to be equal to the tab pane. Okay. Whoop. Apparently I've managed to import a JavaFX tab pane, which I really don't want to do. There we go. And this is unhappy. Didn't find, no, oh, because I can't type tap pane. No, it should be the tab pane. Okay, now they're spelled the same. We have that. It turns out that it'll still look the same when we run it because the tab pane doesn't have any tabs in it, so it doesn't show anything. So we'll come back in the next video and we will add the ability to make tabs that are used to display drawings that have kind of the, the layout that we want down here. And we'll make it so that we can put those into our tab pane uh, to make the, the GUI as a whole look the way that we want.